Hawks, and then Jonathan Gray and Jeff Swain, the tight end, who is an honorary offensive lineman of late. Middle of the field is open, and it's going to be a first down for the Longhorn. And a flip. Johnson, if he gets loose, forget about it. Pressure from Kansas, trying to run away from it. With Brown, a little hole popped up there. Stop the run. McCoy screens it. This is Brown. Has one man in front of him, but he won't get them. And there's the flip to Johnson. Got one block to the 20. The 24. McCoy pumped it. That is inside screen. Johnson again. Pressure from Kansas. McCoy gets it loose. There's Shipley. First down. And there's Shipley again. Good block down the field. Boy goes the other way. This time, defender fell down. Chipley's open, stumbling a bit of the 15-yard line. He'll get inside the 10. Definitely. Watch the fake, and the head sh and shoulder shake that he gave right there at the top of that route. And that froze the defender and gave Shipley, uh, in fact, it knocked the defender down. And off. And right behind the beef, it's a Texas touchdown. Guys with their hands in the dirt there on the left. And the key block there was the big one by uh, Trey Hopkins. Yet. And it'll be Gray. Has a little bit of work here to the 15. He kicked it to him and gave Gray the chance. And Gray, big hole. Gray up the middle, first down, and maybe more. Gets behind. Watch Mason Walters get the linebacker here and push Heaney right out of the hole. There he is. Bam. That opens it up. A nice double team down on the nose there. That's good blocking. But instead, a little forward pitch to Johnson. This time, Kansas. Oh! Kansas. Uh, out of Straight up the middle. Swain 82 with the play follow him. Flag is down for right here. Swain has just done an outstanding job. If I'm going to put it on one guy or another as far as uh, really changing the, the temps. Down the sideline to Mike Davis. This time, other way. Caught and shipping him. Back on the ground. Oh, nice move that time by Brown. Brown inside the five. 27. Everyone else, they got a hat for a hat, so they tell the running back, all right, you got to get that guy in. Boy, he, Brown took care of him, no problem. To the left side again, that's where they go. And Brown, stutter step into the end zone, touchdown. The, the big fella right here. He's just going to turn his man. There's nobody in the hole left. Just an outstanding job. In the shadows, Gray has a hole, and he'll have a first down. Slung out to Shipley. Pressure here. McCoy gets away nicely. Still in trouble. Fires it down the field and he has a first down. McCoy. There's a deep shot down the field and it's going to be caught. On the uh, sideline. Let's see if he gets the feet in. Has the ball. The foot is in. You just need one in college catch. Booth didn't even buzz down. They go out to the flat. This is Johnson again. And Brown fighting for the extra yard. I like to run towards that. And stutter step by Brown. And yes, they do. And Brown fighting for the extra feet. He gets the six. The touchdowns by Brown. We were uh, complimenting offensive linemen because there was huge holes. This one is all Malcolm Brown. He ran over through and, and uh, around people to get in there. Look at the fight uh, just to keep digging them legs and get into the end zone. McCoy, that's going to be a first down. Nice throw him out of any consideration if he was ever up for it in the first place. Jason McCoy stays in the game and he hands off to Malcolm Brown and breaks loose. And McCoy fell down, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be a fourth touchdown for Malcolm Brown. Who has found the end zone from up close and from far away. Briefly shaken up today. I don't have to talk him out of the ball game, but he took a vicious shot while throwing a pass. Bergeron gets outside and gets knocked. So McCoy will get that first win in a start in this building. As Swoops, you can hear the crowd getting jacked up as Swoops continues to move the pile. And there's uh, some evidence. No doubt about that. Here he is, that first one. I'll tell you, it was all about the offensive line there. But here's Brown making a man, missing the hole, and then running, getting it down inside. He'll finish it off himself as he pounds another one in the end zone in this last one. This is vintage Malcolm Brown, who has found the end zone from up close and from far away.
the backfield for Kansas. And this will be Sims. Uh, Texas waiting for. And a little flip to Brandon Bourbon. Right now. Straight ahead. Nothing. And they'll go to him. Flag is down. Now there's Cozart. And he'll pitch it on the old-fashioned option to Bourbon. That does Heaps under pressure. Guns it. They have a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And he just beats his man. And then brings it home hard. And Middle of the field, broken up. Here he is. You see Diggs, he's reading the receiver, and then he gets his eyes back in time. Lyman or Doherty? Knocked away. Sims made one man miss, but not two and not three. That won't work. He stays in a quarterback. Faces a lot of pressure, and down he goes. There you go. And the ball is loose. Big Chris Whaley does it again. Madisonville. Watch him number 96. And yeah, this is just relentless pressure. And there's the, the rip away, the forced fumble. And here goes the big man. He says, nobody's going to catch me on this one. Look at his head lean back a little bit. Started digging. Throwing it in the face of the pressure. Sims, but they're waiting for him. You can see eight. Deeps taking a deep shot down the field. Jump ball knocked away. Go to Mark Mangino firing after a 5-7 and seven season when they started the year. Day. Kansas is about 227, and there is another sack by Cedric Reed. Even there. Here, here he is. Watch this. He just he dips the shoulder, a little rip move, but he's just so fast and, and good at running the hoop. Back out. He had that rather frightening fall on his knee. Cozart is the quarterback, and 